Today, I'm going to show you how to create Boom Slang Skin. This is the dried snake skin ingredient that is used in the Polyjuice Potion. This ingredient is not readily available to students, but would be found in the Potion Master's private storage. To make our Boom Slang Skin, we will need one glass bottle. I'm using a taller bottle, so we'll be able to see our faux snake skin a little bit easier. Some small bubble wrap. Um, this is the smaller bubbled bubble wrap than regular size. It will make for a better faux snake skin. Some markers. I have a dark brown, light brown, and green. A cooking skewer. A paper towel. Some optional jute twine. Optional hot glue. Optional gold paint marker and our label printed on sticker paper and the link for the label is in the description down below. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is take our bubble wrap and we're actually going to rip it into pieces. And ripping it is better than just cutting it because it gives you more of a realistic um, edge that will give us a better look for the um, snake skin. Then we're going to take the bubble wrap and we are going to pop all of the bubbles. We want this to be deflated um, bubble wrap. Again, it gives that scaly texture that we're looking for to make that faux snake skin. So when we open it up, it's kind of hard to see, but you can t tell now that it doesn't look like bubbles and it looks more like a texture. Okay, so once we get all of our bubble wrap popped and shredded into the sized pieces that we would like, we are then going to um, take our markers and we are going to add color to them. Okay, so to make our bubble wrap look like boom slang skin, we are going to take our markers and we are going to color the bubble wrap. I actually like to color more on the textured side than the smooth backing, just because I feel like it gives it a little bit more of a snake skin look. Um, so with the Boom Slang Snake, the female is a tan color and the male is a green color. So we're going to do a mix of green and tan um, colors on here. And then we're going to use the paper towel to uh, wipe away the excess so that it's not a very vivid color and just kind of gives us that translucent snakeskin feel. Okay, so once we get our bubble wrap all popped and flattened and torn and now colored, we're then going to do the final step to it. So we're going to take our bubble wrap and we are going to pull it and stretch it in multiple different directions. And if it tears a little bit, that's okay. We're just trying to give it the um, illusion of that snake skin um, fluidity that it has. It kind of gets a little bit of a curvature to it as they wriggle out of their... Um, skin that they're shedding. So we want to mimic that by doing the pulling, stretching, twisting, and tearing to our bubble wrap. And as you can see, we get a really great looking snake skin.
Okay, so once we have all of our bubble wrap stretched, then we are ready to put it in the bottle. Okay, so all we're gonna do is uncork our bottle and take our cooking skewer if we need it and take our snake skin and we're just going to get it started and then use the cooking skewer to get it into our bottle. Okay, so once we get all of our um, faux snake skin in here, you can see it really looks like shedded snake skin. Um, that's nice and dried. It's still got that translucent quality, but just enough color to let you know what's there. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and add our label. Okay, so we're gonna take our um, label printed on our sticker paper and again the link for this label is in the description down below and we're just going to peel the backing paper off and then we're going to find out which side we like the least and that's the side we're going to put the label on and i actually think this might be my least favorite side here and we're just going to line it up Oops. And once we get our label on, we can go ahead and embellish. Okay, so to embellish our bottle, we're going to take our jute twine and we are going to create a U. And then we're going to take our jute twine and wrap it around the neck of the bottle, trapping that U we created. Once you have the neck wrapped, we're going to take our scissors and cut the string. And we're going to take our tail end here and we are going to put it through the U. Like this. And once we've done that, we can then take our top and bottom strings and tighten everything up. Then we're going to take our bottom string and pull it down until it traps that top of the loop behind the strands we took around the edge of the bottle and then we're just going to cut it flush. Okay, so now that the neck of our bottle is wrapped, we're going to do a faux wax seal embellishment. Okay, so we are going to take our hot glue gun and we are going to go around the edge of the bottle and we are going to gob on a decent amount because we want it to drip down. And if some of it gets inside the edge of the bottle, it's okay because we're going to put our cork in and that will trap some of that as well. And then cork our bottle. and then let our glue dry. Okay, so once our glue has dried, we're then going to take our gold paint marker and we are just going to paint the glue gold so that it looks like it was gold wax that was dripped onto our bottle.
Okay, so once we get the glue all painted with the paint marker, we have this great faux wax seal that we get on the bottle. And there you have it, Boom Slang Skin. This will be a great addition to our potion prop collection we've been making along the way. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.